everyone, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make a button similar to this play button right here. So uh, let's get started. This is in GIMP. Uh, we're just going to start off with the square, rectangular select tool, tool, whatever. And make sure you have rounded corners selected. You can bring this up all the way, it doesn't really matter. And just make a size that you'd like for your button. I'm going to go with that size there. So then, what you want to do is right click on it and then click edit. And you can do stroke path or slope, stroke selection. I'm going to do stroke selection. And make the line width, you can do uh, three or four. I'm just going to do four and just stroke it. Oops. Select or edit and just do stroke path. It'll work better. Stroke. So, whenever you have this, uh, what you want to do is just click select, none, and there you have that. And then zoom in right onto the button here. Make sure you have a nice shot of it and get your uh, regular path tool and simply just bring it from the center all the way across and then give it a slight bend like that. And then just do stroke path and do the line width as one. And then just click select all, select none, and just uh, do the fill tool and fill in with a paint bucket black on the top or whatever color you'd like. Then get your uh, free select tool and you want to select just right along here, right along the top of those white spaces there and then down the side and then all the way across the bottom and give just a little bit of space on there and up to the top and select it and then get your airbrush tool and select like a grayish color I'm just going to do that color and bring the size up and the flow up whoa that's, that's really big and then just paint it in like this and once you have it all painted in just click select none and make sure you got everything painted like that Let me just bring this size down a little bit and then you want to get your uh, lettering tool make a color you want and just type whatever I'm just going to do a quit button for this I believe the size I did for the last one was 32. Uh, I'm going to make it bold and just put it, you know, where you want. Since this button's bigger, I'm going to make this like 42. And just put it right in the center. Now you want to go ahead and back out and go ahead and go to filters and do artistic and click on cartoon. And scroll down to that preview there and just click OK. So now you have your quit button that actually looks like a button and then if you put that in the game maker you can add a glow effect around it for the whenever your mouse hits it. So that's how to make buttons in GIMP. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time.